What is going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video my sports Gamatria. In this video I'm going to go over a football game for Monday, January 10th, 2022. I'm going to show you highlights of each side and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking these games, you have to join my Patreon. My picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best luck in your picks today. Let's go ahead and get to the game. We are going to be looking at Georgia Bulldogs versus Alabama Crimson Tide for the CFP National Championship presented by AT&T. As I already had up, on this side of the screen is what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew calendar. And then on this side of the screen is what I call my game numbers. The way that it's structured here is I have the event or the name of the event up top here, the location, city, state, stadium. And then right here is the, well, I guess on top, usually it's the road team, but this is a neutral location. So I'll just say one team is up top here, their coach's record, their quarterback, their season record, their record within this specific championship, and their overall bowl record as a team. In the middle here is the head-to-head -head record between the two teams. And then at the bottom here is another team, their season record, their championship record, their overall bowl record quarterback coach record so we have alabama versus georgia is georgia going to get their revenge on alabama or is alabama going to stunt them once again usually i start with the home team in these videos but it's a neutral location so i'll just start with the team at the bottom here usually it's the home team uh, i'm going to go over some numbers here for alabama and then i'm going to go over some numbers here for georgia so if, if alabama was going to win this game uh, we could look at the 14. Alabama would pick up their 14th win for the season as they get their 43rd all-time head-to-head win against Georgia, 43 the 14th prime number. Alabama coach, he could become 19-10 and 10 for a bowl record in his career with the win, 191 the 43rd prime number, 43 the 14th prime number. They get that 43rd all-time as they get their 14th win for the season. Today does have 53 date numerology on the Gregorian, 53 sums to 148. Alabama coach can get his 184th win as a coach for Alabama, 184, 148 anagrams of each other. 53 is the 16th prime number, and, he, and the Alabama coach can get his 16th win, um, get his 16th bowl win specifically as a coach for Alabama. Alabama is the team with the number nine quarterback. Alabama comes into this game with an eight-game winning streak. They could win it all, getting their ninth win in a row with the number nine quarterback. This is the 13 quarterback versus the number nine quarterback, like 139. 139 mathematically is the 34th prime number. Georgia would sit on 34 bowl wins as a team with a loss. Again, today with 53 date numerology on the Gregorian, Georgia coach would get his 16th loss for his career, 53 the 16th prime number, as he becomes 5-3, and three, like 53, for a bowl record in his career. This game being played at Lucas Oil Stadium, which sums to 53. 53 also sums to 122. Indianapolis, Indiana sums to 122. CFP National Championship sums to 379, the 75th prime number. Indianapolis sums to 75. 75 mathematically sums to 152, this being the 152nd season for college football. Having 152 date numerology on the Hebrew civil side of the calendar. This is the 75th day of the Georgia quarterback's current age. Alabama, they're playing their 75th overall bowl game uh, as a team. Let's start to look at Georgia now. If Georgia was going to win this game, 
the interesting thing is today has eight is the eighth day of the eleventh month on the Hebrew religious side of the calendar, like eight eleven. Eight eleven mathematically is the hundred and forty first prime number. And one of these two teams is gonna become fourteen and one. Fourteen and one for a season record with a win. If it was gonna be Georgia, uh some other things you can say is Today has 33 date numerology on the Gregorian. Alabama would become three and three in the uh, national championship since since it's been started. Like 33. Georgia coach he would get his 66th win for his career. The number 33 written out sums to 66. It also sums to 141. It also sums to 156. And Alabama coach could become 15 and 6 for a bowl record as a coach for Alabama with a loss. In regards to it being the 152nd season, CFP National Championship, 379, the 75th prime, 75 sums to 152. Alabama, they can get their 27th loss. Um, as a team, the 27th bowl loss as a team, and written out 27 sums to 125, which is just an anagram of 152. It also sums to 53, date numerology of 53 on the Gregorian. But um, that's about all I have here. I didn't have a whole lot for this one. Uh, I kind of do here and there, but uh, you'll just have to decide on which side kind of looks more interesting. You know, is it the 14 pattern, 43-14 for Alabama, 19-1, the 16 and the 53 going against the Georgia coach, or the 27 going against Alabama? The 156 going against the coach. Georgia coach getting that 66 win. Either one of these teams could become 141. Alabama does have the nine quarterback that could get their ninth win in a row. Georgia does have the 13 quarterback that could sit on 13 wins for the season with a loss. But this could be a revenge game too. Georgia could sit on one losses for the season as they even the score one and one head-to-head -head against Georgia, not only in the championship game, but for this year, as well as for themselves in the championship game. All right, well, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this helps. Uh, hopefully this wasn't too boring. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of insight. And I uh, wish you the best of luck on your pick for this game. I hope you win all the money in the world.